What's up, Internet? It is April 14th, 2019. We are here in the town doing town related activities like checking our mail and making a ginormous flower garden. Uh, it occurs to me that we are presently missing, I think, two available insects at this point. Uh, the snail, which is like the hardest to find of all of them, as well as spiders, which I think are in trees. Uh, they replace the bagworms, so, you know, we might have to keep an eye out for that at some point. Got some ginkgo paper. Has a gaudy sweater. How gaudy is this sweater? I must know its level of gaudiness. Wow, that is... horrible. <laughs> they got the name of that dead on, certainly. I'm gonna go back to wearing this. We got some stuff from the museum. Let's see. And that's from home. I don't think they sent us a paperweight, but it's entirely possible. Let's see what we've got. We have... Hey, we got a proper fossil. Two proper fossils. Are we gonna get all three? Paperweight. Uh, we're not going to make up for that day. We got three paperweights ever, are we? Ah, uh, a thousand bells from home. That's nice. Okay, um, so, let's go sell some stuff to Nook, before we do anything else. They're closed! What the hell, Nooks? Alright, they have a special event today, okay. Nooks is closed, that's fine, that's okay, that's perfect. Um, change of plans, I guess we're not gonna be building our giant flower shop today. I forgot they had, like, a special sale. They only open for, like, an hour, too. I will get these to Oxford quickly, Pierce. It gives me something to do. Yes, he's clearly sporting my awesome hand-drawn shirt I made like 20 years ago. Alright, Oxford's house was down here, I believe. There he is. Oxford, I have a shirt for you. Clothe yourself because you're apparently a fashion disaster. Here you go. He swapped his A shirt for a number three shirt. Ooh, but we do get some furniture and that's important. Although we are gonna be limited on inventory space today, we might not be able to get all that much done. Got a kitsch clock. That's not uh, something I really want, but we've got it. Do you need a thing while we're here, Cookie? I guess I'm not helping Cookie today. Fine, Cookie. But don't come crying to me when I you need something and I decide I'm not helping you today. Hey, we made the town perfect again. Now, if we were still trying to get the perfect town, this would have been the restart of the two weeks, but we already have the golden axe, so nothing's gonna happen. And while we miss the golden spot, we still get some bells. Because the ground provides. But we are kind of limited with stuff we can do today because next is evidently closed. Uh, I guess we'll go talk to some people, see if Gulliver's around. Go to the other town and try and clean that up. I'm not sure Nooks in that town has uh, a sale going on. We'll check. It'd certainly be fascinating to see if they're in synchronization. Like it's a clock based activity or if it's like just a randomized thing. I'm inclined to think random, but, you know, I guess we'll find out. Not seeing too much in terms of weeds or anything for us to pick up. Which is always a good sign. Who lives here again? Alright, oh, Coco. Based on the hit film, that wouldn't come out until like 15 years after this game. Oh yeah, it's the creepy bunny with the joyride face. Doying. That's really, really creepy. <laughs> she even has like a cap like a dread. Her mouth does move though, so I mean there's... Uh, I kind of like sleeping. 
Sleeping is good. You have a really creepy face. I'm sorry, I think someone needed to say it. Maybe you should go to uh, Blanca for some fashion tips on how to uh, make up that face a little prettier. Because that's a little bit creepy. Okay, uh, cleared up some weeds. There's gonna be a rock right here next to the pit of sadness that was at one point Cody Brainfart's house, but thankfully he's gone, and as such, we have to do a little bit of a dance. Yeah. Alright, uh, no Gulliver today. That's okay. If he came every day, that would make his furniture not special at all. And then what would be the point? Oh, I'm really bad at hitting this rock with a shovel. And I'm really bad at getting rewards for hitting that rock with a shovel. So everyone loses. Booker, you are slacking off. Keep finding stuff for me, damn it. Copper, anything going on? He has crazy reds, completely legitimate business emporium back in town. I genuinely don't think I've ever seen that message before. You know, he, he normally says something's happening, but I've never seen him say nothing. Like, even when there's nothing, he just says something about, like, K.K. Slider or Tom Nook or something. That's interesting. I think 20 years later, I'm still learning so much about Animal Crossing. That's a sign you made a very complex and deep and interesting game. Okay, give me something to do, because Tom Nook won't. And I'm limited on what I can do with what I have. I can return a thing to Pango. She's in a different town, but I can do it. Alright. Okay, Rock. Oh, you disappoint me, Rock. How about you, other Rock? Will you disappoint me? Yes, you will. Alas. No Rock wants to be my friend today. I'm not a friend of the rocks. You need a thing, Blair? I will deliver some clothes to Stinky. Because Underpants the Cat needs more underpants. I'll get this to him. Onward for great justice and also just neighborly kindness and possibly a reward. Though so that's not why we do it. We do it just to bring a smile to people's faces. That's right, Emerald hangs out down here. We should talk to her before she falls asleep in three minutes. Seven minutes. That's reading 53. You need a thing while you're still awake? Okay. See you tomorrow, maybe. I'm not jealous at all that you have all the crocoids. I'm just one short. But man, am I jealous of that fact. Alright, let's get this to Stinky. So he'll be less stinky because we all know he doesn't exactly clean his clothes. Certainly not the underpants on his head. I have a thing for you. From Blair. Is that a flower print? Nice. I do like furniture. That is a pink flower shirt, and it's very nice on him. A neutral corner. You know, at least with enemies, you know where they stand, but with neutral people, who knows? <laughs> Any last words? Tell my wife I said hello. <laughs> oh, the planet of the neutrals. That was funny. Oh, I wish Sutra was still around. Dance party! Courtesy of Cube's awesome pad. Right, let's take a look at the stuff we've gathered and see what we're going to do with it. So I feel like we're going to be using very little of it, but still, we got some time. Kitch clock. 
It's like a Coca-Cola clock. That might be cool downstairs if we try to actually put like a theme around it. Neutral corner is gonna be like a two by two, I think. KK Jazz is rather nice. And a regal lamp. Thanks for this lot. I might leave this down here though. If I can find space, which of course I won't be able to. Alas. I'd pick this up, but I don't have room to put stuff in my pockets. Whatever shall we do? Let's take that April ticket, because let's just be honest, we don't need that. Put that here. I don't want that neutral corner. I might play punch out in this room, but that doesn't mean I want to live it. Yeah, we'll put that there. I really gotta clean my house up. <laughs> Uh, but I don't really have any ideas for theming or anything. I just want to collect stuff I like. All right, uh, let's... Fantasy paper? I'm curious how fantastic it is. We will take that and put that there. And by there, I mean there. Read that and throw that out. Read that and throw that out. Read that and throw that out. And by read that I mean don't read it whatsoever. Get some more letters to me soon. I want to see how fantastic this fantasy paper is. Is it a portal to the fantasy zone? Do we need to get ready? Fine, I will delete another letter just so I can look at the paper. That's not that fantastic. Looks like some kind of like weird nobility paper or something. It's nice looking though. I wouldn't call it fantasy. Right, well, we're limited with what we can do, but at the very least we can go to the next town over and clean it up a little. Besides, I'm curious whether or not most will be closed over there too. I'm ready for uh, experimentation in Animal Crossing. It's always fascinating to see what happens. town over. And we can continue to spread our love of good deeds and doing right by people where we can. Oh look, it's Rover. Playing to lord his exclusive shirt over us yet again. Classic Rover. Talking about whisker twisters and other nonsense while being vaguely condescending. Come on, Rover, hurry up. Please, you're so slow. How long has it been? It's been one day, Rover. I see you every single day. I mean, I'm coming from someone who has, like, the worst memory ever, and even I memory is not that bad. The town is okay. Let's move on. Alright. In the station. Of stationitude. Yes, the first things first, we should go see about what's going on at Nooks. Because I'm genuinely curious if that's a random event or if it's like pre-programmed across all of them. Oh, they're open. Huh. Guess it's just closed in my town. That's interesting. Sell that, sell that. And that, and that, and that, and that, and that. And that, and now we have some inventory space to work with. And a few bells to spend here and there. 
Everybody wins a little bit. Oh, so that lamp I just sold. Mine looked a little better than that one, though. Uh, not really. I like this shirt, actually, the moody blue shirt. We wore it before, but. Yeah, what the hell, we'll buy it again. It's another April ticket. I don't know, I, I just want to try different shirts, I guess, even if I've already had them. Why not? I think this one looks a little better anyway. I'd really like to get that Gracie shirt, though. But it's, um, exclusive to Gracie, and I'm bad at Gracie, so... We probably will never get it. Oop, what do we have here? Paper that we can sell. Fishbone shirts. Ladybug. But I'm not seeing any weeds in this town either, which is good, because we're trying to clean up this mess. And the nice thing is we're about 90% of the way there. Oh, uh, we gotta deliver a thing to Pango. Where is she at? Uh, I some spike. There she is. Okay. We'll go talk to her once we get to her. But, once again, we just have to make sure the areas we've already cleaned haven't gotten messy overnight. Which happens. There's a weed. Like that. And another one. Wow. This place is getting real messy already. But, we're here to clean it up. So it's all good. See anything over here? Nothing around here. There's peaches yet again, whether we like it or not. And nothing over here, but we can talk to Velma. No idea what shirt she's wearing. It's kind of nice looking though. Oh, I'm not getting you a ball. I know exactly where it is, and that is not a fun little trip. So, no, you will not be getting a ball, Velma. I'm sorry. Oh, look who it is. Someone who's going to berate me on my lack of ability to button mash the A button real fast. Well, let's see what I can do with this. Bad. Okay, here we go. I think we did it. Holy crap, we actually did it. Please be the one shirt you have that I actually want. <laughs> I mean, I know it's not going to be, but please. Ow, that really hurt my wrist. That wasn't it, that was what we were already wearing. It was a fishbone shirt. A cool shirt. Huh. Yeah, it is kind of cool. I'll give you credit. I want the Gracie shirt, but still, that's, that's like its background. That's not bad, actually. I think I'll wear that. Just as a sign of pride that I actually managed to do Gracie's thing properly once. But seriously, I want that shirt she's wearing. It's cool. Also, I think this is exactly what Velma was wearing. I'm wearing a Gracie shirt. You should be jealous. Because I've got fashion sense. You don't, Pearl. Alright. Oh, we got a Gracie shirt. So even though we can't do much in our town today, because Nooks is closed, I mean, small victory. 
Hey, it's good old Quetzal. Need a thing while I'm here, buddy? Ah. What can you do? I'll catch you next time, Quetzal. What are you, Tangy? Do you need something? I don't know if you need anything, but I'll ask anyway. Also, feel free to talk about how awesome my shirt is. I'll take close to Camo Frog. I think right now he's wearing the uh, dark polka shirt. If I recall, it's a very nice shirt actually. It's no Gracie shirt, mind you, but it's a nice shirt. Cube. Well, Cube's clone, also named Cube, anyway. Maybe also spelled with a Q. Come across as edgier than the one in our town. Maybe I don't know. At least Spike, there's there's a joke there, but, you know, cube, it's a little trickier. Maybe he spells it with a little three in, instead of uh, letters. Alright, yeah, there's a weed, let's get rid of that. But, I mean, on the bright side, we at least showed a very, very, very... Snooty giraffe, what's what? So small victories. I'm pretty proud of that. Well, people just don't need help today. And I mean, I guess that's okay. You know, that's their right to not need help, but you know, as someone who's actually here just to help, not being able to help kind of sucks. A little bit. Okay, so this is the next day because we're going to have to clean up. And here's where Camo Frog is, so let's, let's talk to him. And get him. As we head Bob to his rocking soundtrack. Good song. It's KK Rock, I believe. I think that's the next KK song we're going to have to get. What clothes did you wear? Uh, that's not worth the trip. I could have shaken any tree and gotten more. Although you do look quite nice in that shirt, Camo Frog. I'll give you that much. Alright, well, our next job is to clean this acre, so let's do it. And we'll see about helping some other villagers. We'll go fishing or see if we can hunt down like the last bug we can get on a nice day. We've got options, even though we're somewhat limited in our hometown, at least this one's open to us. And, I mean, we can sell those pears that are on the ground for a fair profit, because unlike our hometown where that was the native fruit, here they are not. Worth 500 bells each, which is not an insignificant sum. Alright, we are making this place look good. And that's awesome. Oop, let's get rid of that. Slowly, just gotta clean this place up. It is a slow process. I mean, we've been at it for, by the end of this, basically a month. But you know what? It'll be worth it, because the NPCs in this town will thank us forever. We'll be a hero to them. And they'll tell stories to their grandchildren about the legendary hero who cleaned up their town. Of all the schmutzes and weeds and whatever. also made a tidy profit doing so because, I mean, let's just be honest, if you sell all the crap on the ground, you know, you're gonna make money off of it. Hey, we got two digging spots. Got a joyride. Hey, Howloid. I love Howloids. I need that one too, I think. I will swap this because I can just put this here. In fact, I can put this one here. I think I have one of the Hogwarts, but I don't think I've got the standard one. I kind of want all three, so... 
You know, getting another Howloid doesn't hurt my feelings any. Anything behind this? Nope. Nothing behind the uh, billboard. Get rid of that. Oh, I almost got this acre covered. This is one of the worst acres I've seen, though. Kind of funny because I know with like uh, some acres, like the museum, it's just it doesn't get too many. Like the game isn't programmed to like spawn too many of these things in, but. This place doesn't seem to have that luxury. Just do a quick once over. I think we got all of it though. Yep, we're good. Okay. Uh, so the next step would be to go find Pango. Hold on. I don't want to hurt those poor flowers. I'm very compassionate about that. Doesn't hurt them growing a giant flower bed in my own town. And she's not in right now, of course not. I think she'd be here. Because it's both one square away from her town, her town, her house. But also this is one of the places where animals like to hang out. But she's not here. I'm surprised. You have nothing for us, Cookie, you liar. Alright, well, nothing here. Where could Pango be? I guess we'll check by the uh, ocean. And you know, maybe we're in the Gulliver. I've seen him show up with other special people. Ooh, lost more bells. Another cool thousand bells for us. Awesome. Getting close to halfway to that uh, bank deposit. Not too shabby. Hmm. Nothing here. Alright, well, she's gotta be somewhere. This is our greatest mission of all time now. We must find Pango. We must deliver this organizer. We must show her how much we value her as a member of the community of our old village. And there she is. Also, a fossil and another digging spot next to it. I know you moved here. You sent me a letter about it. Yes, I tracked you down, Snoop. Yeah, a thousand bells, I'll take that. Plus I got a nice shirt and a bit of an adventure, plus I got to help this town out. Everyone wins a little bit, but mostly me. <gasps> we got Excite Bike. Well, even though we can't go to Nooks, I mean, we've, we've already got so much fun. Sorry, sorry, I forgot. I only have so many spaces in my pockets. Now do you need something? I can take clothes to Velma. Whoopsie. I didn't mean to just say no. That was me trying to skip dialogue. Can you let me in? Okay, I'll take different clothes to a different villager. Sure, why not? It's weird she names it, though. Hold up. There's a fossil there we missed. We'll have to come back for it. I think I saw a cube up around here. There's Ace. Cube, where are you? Weber, have you seen him? He was right here, and now he's not. Where could the cubed penguin be? He's gotta be somewhere. Well, if we gotta do this anyway, we might as well go to Nooks since we're here. 
Oh, there he is. Let's fix this. Because everyone knows if you leave and come back, everyone feels better about everything ever. Yay. Cube, got a thing for you. It's not the sweet GameCube shirt that you uh, were rocking when you first came here, but it's a purple tie-dye. Kind of works on you, actually. Shirt though. It's not even a snappy shirt, it's a jagged shirt. You know how not snappy jagged shirts are? They're like the antithesis. Everyone knows that. The shirt kind of looks like uh, stained glass a little bit. I kind of like that. Uh, I want to definitely keep Excite Bike, I'm not an idiot. Free Excite Bike? Yes, please. Alright. We definitely gotta go get that fossil. We gotta clean that up. And we did. We all win. And now, to rescue that fossil, so that this place is a little bit cleaner. Generic fossil, but what we can do, read that, throw it away, write a new letter, all the way to Mr. Museum, and then take this and put it there. And then I think the next thing we gotta do is go buy some flowers because we couldn't do that in our town today. And then I definitely think we need to play some Excite Bike. Like, I think that's just something that has to be done. Excite Bike was given to us by the randomness of fate. And thus, we must bow to its will and play some Excite Bike. Also, Excite Bike is awesome. So, why wouldn't you want to play Excite Bike? I'll buy that. I'll take some purple pansies, please. I'll take some pink cosmos, why not? And finally some yellow pansies. Awesome! To home! And we're gonna make the world an even better place closer to home and also play some Excite Bike because of course we are. Come on, Porter. Now you gotta save a lot because we made this town even more awesome than it was before, but still. I've got all day to wait for loading and saving. I'm very impatient like that. Alright, let's get going. Of course, we gotta talk to Rover again, who will once again berate us for being pitiful and whisker twisters and all that nonsense. We ain't got time for that because we got Excite Bike to go play. Because Excite Bike is awesome. We're finally starting to actually get some good NES games up in here. Because, I mean, let's just be honest, tennis is not that cool. Donkey Kongs are right, but that means the NES version is missing in a whole level from the standard release. And let's just be honest, it's got nothing on the Game Boy release, I know, because I just had to make an entire video about it. Alright, first things first, we gotta get rid of these flowers. Then go see Phyllis. Then NES Town. And we're gonna rock some Excite Bike. This way. But it's good we made the town perfect again. Alright, 
there anything else in this? Oh yeah, we got this whole like fifth of the entire acre not covered in flowers. How depressing. We need to put flowers everywhere. Like that. Alright. Next thing we gotta go do. Let's go talk to Phyllis. Get rid of a bunch of letters. And I think our chores for the day are done. And we can indulge ourselves in a little bit of awesome NES Extreme Sports challengingness. It's always fun for a little while anyway. Phyllis, mail, have some. More. I have lots more for you, Phyllis. Need a little more. There's still a couple more, actually. And more after that. You wake up, Pete. I'm gonna go say hello to Pete. Hey, Pete. And then come back just to give you a little bit more. And feel free to commend me on my awesome fashion sense because I got a Gracie design. Even though it's not the one I wanted. Nope, that's it. I'm not. See ya, Phyllis. Be sure to keep the e-reader machine company for me. Alright. So that's all done. Time to go home. Well, we also have a Howloid. Oh no! We already have a Howloid. <laughs> I don't think we could ever sink something like that, they're too unpredictable. Besides, we already have one, I don't need another one. Unfortunately, we do not have room for all these NES games. But I think I know a way we can clean up some of this nonsense. Go through and clean up some of our shirt history. Because let's be honest, we don't need all these shirts. We can put Super Tortimer there, I don't think we need it. Uh, I would like to keep that pineapple bed actually, so we'll. Well, yeah, I wanted to put it there a long ways, but I guess not. That can go there. Oh, no, I definitely want to keep that. Okay, there should be tons of room for this. You are just determined to put it wide, aren't you? Fine, game, I will play that with you. There. And we can get rid of some of these shirts, because let's be honest, if we're getting rid of our shirt history, except for our work uh, uniform, because we can only get one of those. Alright. And then we just need to find a place to pull it. Yeah, I think that's where we want to put it. Okay. We'll take it, you go there. Slay. You go there. And finally. Come on. There we go. And pick up the airport to make it so again. Let's play some Excite Bike. Because this was given to us by fate itself. It would be rude not to play at least a little bit. This was a pretty big game back in the day because it actually had like a uh, world design sort of aspect to it, which was pretty impressive. Hmm. 
I had a pretty interesting physics system. Temperature overheating. There was a lot of uh, stuff with this game you had to pay attention to. It actually made it really complex. Set overheat. You have to manage your throttle. Make sure not to blow your engine. If you fell off, well, it, it took like an hour to get back on your bike. It was kind of crazy like that. Oh, I missed the uh, cooldown pad. Whoa! And this is why you never want to crash. It takes forever to get back on your bike. Which meant you really had to master both propulsion, management of your heat, as well as how you landed. You can kind of see this as being like the prototype of the Trials games nowadays. Although something closer to that would be like um, Evil Knievel in the Game Boy Color. If you want to get a little bit obscure. Yay! We're just that good at Excite Viking. Out of the gate, just with our turbo. That's a really impressive set of physics and like uh, the mechanics of orientation and how you land, especially in uh, regards to the terrain. There's a lot of variables for a game like this. And for the NES, that's impressive to say the least. And of course, with the track design, you have basically near limitless amounts of uh, playtime. Of course, most people just made like the most obnoxious tracks ever that were like almost impossible just to try and get their friends to play it. Oh no, Excite Biker. Just a little more. Oh no, are we gonna make it in time? Yeah, we got a new record. That's how awesome at Excite Bike we are. Actually, I'm really bad at Excite Bike, but still, you know, getting to play a little bit of Excite Bike is fun. Now we're in the underwater course. Whoa. Those are awkward to deal with. There's some really nasty bits of environment. It's all dependent on how you land and throttle yourself. these little things where you have to try and uh, go through a very thin profile that laugh. Which ideally would be basically just staying in the two middle lanes simply because you can swap between the two relatively easily. Wow. Yeah. Crashing in this game, it's not very nice to people. Make it. Certainly not in first. Don't want to overheat and blow the engine. I don't know, did we make it? Yes, we did, but just barely. And of course, there was the um, Motocross Maniac games, which were. Kind of considered to be like a handheld sequel to this, although they weren't really all this similar. Well, they did have kind of a similar, you know, you're on a bike as well as trying to uh, go through stunts and stuff. But they were functionally very different games. Those were more about the stunts, whereas this is more about a race that I'm doing really terribly at. 
I've only played the Game Boy Advance iteration of that, which I found to be kind of underwhelming. But I've already made a review about that, so you know. I heard the other iterations were really good, though. I heard one was like on the, uh... I, I think one was on the Famicom, but not the NES. I know we did get one on the uh, Game Boy. Yeah, there's no way we're going to be able to make it in time. I tried to show it off, but you can actually just uh, wheelie over those little pegs on the ground. But it's real tricky to get the timing on them down. Oh no. make third. Can we at least make honorable mention? Can we get a participation award? Of course not. Because this was back in the day where not everyone who participated got an award. That actually meant the people who actually did something actually felt accomplished in doing something. Yeah, we got 12th. But uh, we excited. We biked. It's time for a standard workout routine now, I think. Let's get into good old punch out and see if we can get any further this time. Which is good because I'm running out of water. Alright. Let's see if we can go for the instant on Glass Joe. I don't know what happens to his left eye in that pose. It looks all like weird and like glitched out and scrunched. I think it's like just because I was trying to show it at an angle, but it didn't look quite right. Wow, I'm doing really bad. Should pull out a special right now. I think that's the instant. He's a, ooh, yeah, he is getting up on the one count. Wow, I must have been like a frame or two off, because I felt like I got him with the instant. But that's one more knockdown. Still gotta get one more on him, though. And the instant. I don't know what that is though, like some people just, they instantly go down with a star punch if you hit them fast enough when they get up. And I think I read somewhere that there's like a, a certain logic to it, but I can't remember what it was. I'll have to look it up at some point. Alright, Mr. Kaiser Roll, let's go. Three stars, two, three, dodge his punch, stun him, take him out. Rinse and repeat. Dodge his punch, stun him, knock him down. Come on, Kaiserol, let's go. I just punch, stun him, and that's three. Alright, now we gotta go fight eyebrows. This timing I've been troubling myself with a little bit, especially the second form where it's more important, but... Hopefully not today. One, two, three. One, two, three, star punch. One, two, three, and star punch. That'll be in time. 
to get him for his special, assuming we don't want the timing on it. So now it's just a matter of waiting and getting some star punches, because why not? And that's another one. It's kind of funny. It's not an instant on this version. On the second one it is, but... His attack actually goes a lot longer. Three and star punch. And star punch for good measure. Alright. And that, dear friends, is the minor circuit. Now we get the awesome password sequence of great justice. with the easiest fight in the game, Don Flamenco. Well done. Unfortunately, he can't pinch half as well as he can dance. He can block pretty well. Unfortunately, that doesn't really lead to much offensive capabilities. Like that. I really have 1300 points by the time I knock him down. It would cost us 10. Timing, I guess, maybe. Uh, just initial punch, and he's done. And won't be getting up from that anytime soon. is King Hippo. The deadly princely Potamus himself. Let's go, Mr. Hippo. This is all a matter of letting the fight end when he wants to end. So, how long do you want this fight to go, Mr. Potamus? Whoop. 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 Oh. Don't want to dodge there. There it is. Another one. And that took about 10 seconds longer than it should have, but still, not a bad fight. I might be getting a little faster with these guys. Next is the kind of average mediocre tiger. Let's go, Magic Band. Come on, tiger. Do something impressive. I know you won't, but still. Alright, that's one knockdown. Just gotta get two more. And if I can do the next one in 60 seconds, we're good. seconds for me to use a special. Okay, 
do that one, and that one, why not? Make you feel a little better. One, two, three, four, five, punch! And down you go. The final challenge of this circuit. The guy who can instant kill you if you time a thing wrong. Let's go. He doesn't have a fancy intro. Gotta replace, replace gotta respect. Simplicity, if nothing else. Oh, he's gonna do his spinny punches again. Any interlacing issues left, right, and center with them. Now he'll uppercut. Alright, that's one knockdown. Gotta do two more. Looks like we're on time to probably get it before he starts bull rushing, if we're lucky. Depends on what he chooses to do, though. charge. We're gonna take him in round one. We'll see what we can do. Ten seconds. There we go. Felt like I did that a little too early, but the game was nice and gave it to me. Alright. Now once again we get another great password of justice. As we get another awesome cutscene of training to prove how strong we are or something. Just a matter of timing the special right. Let's go. One, two, three, uppercut. Cut. One, two, three, uppercut. Uppercut. Now he'll do a special. Ooh, we were way late there. One, two, three. Uppercut. I'm not sure if that's going to interfere with him using a special because he usually does it around the minute mark. Find out. Yeah, he's not gonna do it. One, two, three. I really should have gotten hit by that. I'll take that as a sign of something positive. Hate that move so much. I want nothing to do with any of it. Good freeze frame. Honda, let's go. One, two, 
three uppercut. And that's one knockdown. Or should. Nope. I suggest you do that instead. I disagree with you, Mr. Honda, but whatever you choose to do. I have no idea where he is in his pattern now. Just try and make it work at this point, I guess. Oh, way too early. That threw me off. Uh, this is not ideal. I'm gonna get better if I keep losing to people I've already beaten. One, two, three. Well, that's two knockdowns. I mean, worst case scenario, we can win by decision, but I don't want to. Pretty consistent with it, but I'd like to get more consistent with a special if I can. There's always room for practice. Alright, let's go. One, two, three. Oh, for cuts. Ooh, way late. Well, we got one knockdown. He might just put us out of our misery right here. That's kind of sad. One, two, three. That's two knockdowns. Gets up, he's gonna have no health left. But he can't get up on a nine. I think only Bald Bull can. Because I think there's like a programming thing where they just can't expressly get up on a nine count. Okay. Next we got Popinski, the terrifying man crab from Russia. Who really, really, really likes to wreck my day. Every time we face him, win or lose, it's a step closer to consistency. I don't know how to, uh... How to plan that random errant punch after an uppercut. It just sort of seems to happen every now and then. I, I really don't know what the indicator for it is, or what sort of pattern triggers it. I really should have been hit by that too. I mean, I thought I wasn't, but still. Oh crap. Okay, now there's dance. One, two, three. Getting nervous now. Okay, well, he didn't take me out in round one. That means we get two, two uh, knockdowns in the next turn. He's missed a one, which is good. Plus, we get a bit of a heal. I'm not sure what dictates how much we get healed, though. Plus, it's round two. He mostly just focuses on uppercuts, which are easier to time and predict. I said, as I get hit by a bunch of them, crap. That's embarrassing. Uppercut. We have one more if we get knocked down, but it's not going to be pretty. And he'll be able to one shot us afterwards. So I'd prefer not to do that if I can help it. Now the uppercut. That's 
two knockdowns. Come on, man crab. KO on Popinski. One step closer to getting consistent with him. Hooray. And now we get to our current wall, Bald Bull, who can heal himself because reasons. I have to take him out with a star punch or during his special. And he can block some punches now for reasons. I really don't know how to, uh... Yeah, I don't know how to deal with him blocking nonsense. Star Punch Knockdown, so that's at least one he's not going to heal from. But him being Bald Bull... He can get up on a 9 count for his reasons. Oh man, that was way too soon. Wow, that is how not to do that. getting better and we're trying to find ways around his nonsense so we're getting there slowly but surely I mean it took us like a month to figure out Popinski properly and of course we got to cool down with a little balloon trip mode maybe we'll get the bonus this time probably not but maybe but what seemed to really work well for us is not focusing on the bonus so we're gonna try the whole let's not focus on the bonus strategy and see if that gets us the bonus like it did last time. All that matters is we don't get completely nuked by sparks. We're doing a pretty good job of that so far. Just gotta look for the big open windows of safetiness. Safe. Ooh, that was me being hesitant. But we're alive. Bonusless, but alive. That means we can survive and try for more bonuses. Nothing there, wow. I'm getting really skittish today. Bald Bull is throwing me for a loop, I guess. fish. I'm gonna grab that though. Grab that. Halfway to rank one. Huge opening. Oh god, it's the uh, bubble that ruins everything. Hate that bubble so much. Nope, we're good, we're good. We got this. Okay. There's an opening. And there, and there, and we got the bonus. And we rank one now. I think you can double up the bonus if you get like another 15 balloons in a row too. Not that we're gonna try, we're just gonna try and survive. But you know, 
forget it, it happens. Now they come at varying speeds. That's throwing us further for a loop. But we will not allow that to defeat us. Just variable speeds. Nothing changes. Okay, that could be a problem. Alright, double bonus. gonna get all those. Oh, I freaked out. But we got a high score. Plus, we got a double bonus. That's that's pretty amazing. Go team! That was a good cooldown session. Ooh, I feel better. And I think that will be it for today. So I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, follow the stream and know we go live because we do this every single night. As we have up to this point, Nintendo to moving forward. You might also want to check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see over a thousand videos, like my awesome sign here says, waiting just for you because you're that awesome. And, you know what? If you want to make my day, check out the show's PayPal or Patreon. Support the show any way you can so that I can continue to do awesome stuff like this because it's what I'm actually kind of good at and, you know, it's something I'm quite passionate about. Plus, you get yourself on the Discord where we can talk about awesome things like finally rubbing... Gracie's snooty giant giraffe nose in her shiny car and rocking awesome clothes. And also getting a double bonus in balloon fight, because let's just be honest, that's pretty amazing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace out, Internet.